Tributes have been pouring in for South African music legend Johnny Clegg. The artist played a pivotal role against apartheid and has inspired generations of local artists. He, he died from pancreatic cancer. CGTN's Julie Shire has more on that story. South African music legend Johnny Clegg was affectionately known as the White Zulu. A son of the African sky, he lost his battle to pancreatic cancer at 66. It's such a sad day to, to receive that kind of news that we did. And uh, it's with great sorrow and sadness that we have to say goodbye to such a, a legend, a giant, a, almost a gentleman, you know, and friend. We've been fortunate enough to share the stage with Johnny on several different occasions in several different cities and towns around the country. And every single one of them is just you know, you just sit there in, in awe of watching, this, watching his show. It's like, you know, he's, he's such a great performer. Clegg was the first white artist to stand up against apartheid. He defied the law by starting Juluka in the 1970s, a mixed-race band which performed publicly. He crossed boundaries when few dared to do so. And from a personal point of view, he's an absolute inspiration. A white person going across into black African culture and immersing themselves into it, is, especially at the time that he did it, was extraordinary. Clegg became one of South Africa's most loved artists. He produced iconic tunes such as MP, The Scatlings of Africa, and most notably the 1987 hit, A Simbonanga, for Nelson Mandela. Now South Africans young and old bid Hambagakle to Clegg. Johnny Clegg has taught us a lot. We even perform his music, and he's, he's a hero. He, he did a lot in the in the um, music industry and um, yeah, we'll forever remember him and he'll forever be in our hearts. Johnny Clegg belonged to South Africa but his music traveled the world. He performed to thousands of fans at this venue behind me on his final journey tour. Sadly, it would be one of his last live performances. Julie Shara, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.